reaction to this? I think I've ended up at the same hospital you have to give birth to my baby. I was just looking through some of the pictures and things my husband was telling me about you. And it seems the place you've chosen to have your baby is where I'll be having mine as well. Can you believe that? <laughs> Hello, Celia. So you're having your baby at that hospital now, too. I suppose in this region, that hospital is considered the best in childcare, and with things like pregnancy and delivering babies. All of the rooms are private here, and don't require you to have to share the same room with just curtains giving you some privacy. And they have some of the best hospital food as well, I've heard. And they excel at taking care of you after having the baby out here. Bringing you whatever sweets you'd like to eat, and even putting you in a massage chair when you need some help relaxing. That's what I've heard too. But of course, for all of that, it does cost a little bit more to have a baby there. <laughs> I had to convince my husband into letting me have my baby there because the final bill is going to be higher than he was hoping for. <laughs> oh, is that right? Are you saying that my little brother-in-law doesn't make that much then? I can't afford to put you in a hospital like that all the time. <laughs> My husband and yours are both siblings, yet they really are nothing alike, are they? When it came to my husband, he told me okay without me even having to try and convince him into giving me what I want. <laughs> that does sound like your husband. <laughs> and my husband makes a decent amount of money, but didn't want to spend as much on this delivery as I had asked him to. But we come to agreement, and that's why I'm going through that hospital. I don't think any pregnant wife should be expected to convince their husband into giving them what they want. <laughs> I'm having to give birth to his child after all, alright? Any husband should be willing to give any amount of money for that. Now that you say that, I'm sure. <laughs> but this is a real coincidence, right? Your baby and my baby being born just one week apart from another? Right? <laughs> I was surprised to hear that as well. I was a bit worried about making other friends who are also mums, but having you become a mom at the same time as me is a real relief. Let's work together to become great wives and perfect mothers, huh? <laughs> I mean, our sisters are about to have our first babies, so we're bound to become best friends, right? That's right. I look forward to becoming even closer because of this. Oh, but... I'm planning on having my kid go to a preschool here soon. When that time comes, I'm thinking our kids will be going to different preschools. So you're already thinking about preschool? Well, yes. Isn't it important to give a great start to your child's life? I wouldn't want my child going to a public preschool or anything like that either. The idea of that is so scary to me. Crazy kids and those problematic parents could be there, and that's a danger to myself and my child. I would much rather have my kid going to a preschool for kids that want to get a head start in life. Somewhere they will need to test into. That way my child will be much more safe and secure in the future. Have you and my brother not thought about any of that yet? I suppose we haven't really put any thought into all that yet. Right now, we're just focused on me giving birth to a happy and healthy baby is all. <laughs> what? If you plan to have your kid going into a good preschool, then you need to start thinking about that all now. It's going to cost you both some money, and having your kids start to learn things now is very important for them, as they'll have a higher chance of succeeding in both school and in life. As of right now, we're really just focused on our child being both happy and healthy. I'm not sure we'll have them going to a private preschool or anything like that. Ah. So, they'll go to a public school then. <laughs> well, I suppose that's good enough for you guys then. You'll be able to raise yourselves as strong and burly kid. <laughs> Here, my husband is working for a very large company, and we'd like our kid to be ready for a life like that. But there's one thing I'm worried about. Something you're worried about? Are you worried about how your child's health will be when they're born? I'm sure every mother is worried about that. Oh, no! I'm a very healthy woman, so I know my kid will come out just fine. 
when it comes to a girl, their appearance is very important, right? That's why I'm a little concerned about whether or not the baby will have my blood or my husband's. If they have my husband's and are a girl, then I'll be a little worried. I don't like having to say this, but my husband's family is a little, you know... I wouldn't say that the women in his family are that great looking. I happen to think your husband's family looks pretty good. Ah, is that right? No. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I guess you and I see things differently sometimes. <laughs> I never married him for his looks or any of his family's looks, so I don't really like to think about that stuff too much. He happens to be a little on the heavy side and his face isn't all too balanced. Is that right? Well, no matter how your child is born, I'm sure they'll be very cute. After all, there are kids. So you'll end up loving them regardless of their looks. I see. Of course, if they're a boy, then it's about more than just their face. But when it's a girl, their life is decided by their face and their body, right? I guess there's always plastic surgery that can help. If they end up being ugly, I'll just have to get them a little surgery. Uh, I'm not saying I'm against giving them plastic surgery or anything, but... That decision should be left up to your child on whether or not they really want to do something like that or not. But having them do it while they're young would be the best, right? They're going to be in a lot of pictures when they're young. So if they looked beautiful from a young age, then it would be harder for people to tell that they had surgery or not. Right. But I just feel that something like this isn't up to the parents to make a decision on. Also, a child's face will change as they grow older, right? Well, as long as they grow into having a face less ugly than yours, that would be alright. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick on you there. I was just trying to let you know I don't care about your opinion on this. <laughs> Is that so? Oh, it's getting close to my lunch now, so see ya. My husband brought me a lunch specifically designed for pregnant women in the last stages of their pregnancy. I didn't know there were lunches like that. My husband is so nice to me that he makes sure I get the best treatment while carrying the baby. I am so happy I married a man like him. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're going to be giving birth before me, so please let me know how everything goes for you. Will do. We just have to put up with these big bellies a little bit longer. Let's do our best to make it through to the very end together. Bailey, you had your baby, right? I haven't heard anything from you yet, so do hurry up and tell me how the hospital was. I am having my baby next week, all right? I'm so sorry, Celia. I've been dealing with my baby this whole time, and right now I'm giving them their milk. What? At that hospital, you should be able to just ask someone to bring you milk and they'll get it to you, right? When one's not feeling very well, one of the midwives will do that for you. But I happen to want to breastfeed the baby myself, so that's what I'm working on now. Is that right? I'm most definitely going to ask a midwife to take care of all that for me. I mean, right after giving birth, I'm going to be too tired for anything else. That's a good point. Right now, even I'm still tired from giving birth and haven't had much time to relax. But my daughter is so cute. I want to go to bed because I was so tired, but I also want to be here with her. What? Your daughter is cute? You really think so? I do. Look, Bailey. My husband went ahead and showed me a picture of her. Honestly, she's not that cute. <laughs> But I really don't think you should be going around telling everyone that you think she's cute like that. Um, I happen to think she's cute, though. Could you please not say things like that about her anymore? Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Just because you're her mother doesn't mean you should lie about how she looks. All babies look like monkeys just after being born. 
but your baby looks like an old man. <laughs> Celia, you're being a little rude right now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always speak my mind about everything. I didn't mean for any of that to sound rude. <laughs> Is that so? Oh, are you going to get upset with me? <laughs> Maybe you're suffering from postpartum irritability. <laughs> Come on now. You and I are both about to be mothers, so don't get upset with me. I was just being a little honest with you is all. I don't care that that's what you were thinking. I don't think something like that was necessary to say to me. You're really naive, Bailey. But being ugly yourself, I'm sure you're happy about that baby. It was probably pretty difficult for you to find a man to have a kid with you in the first place, right? <laughs> Celia? You're being very rude right now. I don't happen to think either myself, my husband, or my baby are ugly. If all you're wanting to do here is make fun of me, then just stop texting me. I wanted to know how the hospital was. You were the one that never texted me about any of that, causing me to have to text you. Stop behaving like a child now. I happen to be your husband's older brother's wife, right? You're being a little too sassy for someone who's like my little sister now. I don't think our age or relation has anything to do with this right now. The reason I'm having to behave like this is because of what you've been saying. You're supposed to become a mother, yet you're so narrow-minded. Remember that I'm going to become a mother myself here soon as well. If you start to stress me out right now and something happens to my baby, then I'm going to blame all of that on you. Bailey, right now my husband is heading over to your house, right? Can you tell him to get his butt back here and take care of me as soon as possible when he arrives? Will do. Hey, I've been sending you pictures of my baby every day now. Yet you never reply to any of them. Why is that? Could it be that my baby is cuter than yours and you're jealous? <laughs> I'm not jealous. Oh, you don't have to lie about it. When you put my daughter's picture next to your daughter's picture, it's insane. <laughs> your baby is so ugly that she makes me laugh every time. <laughs> and to me, she happens to be the most cute little girl in the world. Don't you say things like that. <laughs> Why don't you have your baby get some plastic surgery? Compared to my daughter, she looks miserable. <laughs> Both our kids are cousins now, so it's better that you make yours look a little better before they start to hang out together. <laughs> you should not be comparing things like that. That kid doesn't even have my blood in it anyway. So what's this about it being a cousin? Huh? What are you going on about? Celia, it's me. Gage. What? You... Really? But right now, I'm texting Bailey's number, right? You are aware that I've come over to their house right now, so it's not that strange that I've been able to look at her phone, right? Bailey was telling me that she got some texts from you and asked me to come and see them. Oh, is that right? So Bailey's the type of woman to tattle on me then. She always had such a calm demeanor, yet she's scaring me now. She's not scaring you. Have you always been texting her terrible things like this, Celia? I have not been sending her anything terrible. You've been calling both Bailey and her husband ugly, right? Well, I'm telling the truth, aren't I? Compared to our baby, the baby they ended up having is insane! <laughs> if she were to start showing the world her kid, I'm sure her ugly face would be all over the internet being made fun of! You really are such a terrible woman. Why are you on Bailey's side right now, Gage? Our kid is cute, so who cares about her? This is not about our kid, though, is it? And what I'm saying here... I just told you that that kid you gave birth to is not mine. Hey, don't tell me that Bailey has been saying strange things to you now. I'm sure she's just saying things like our kid not being yours because her face is so cute, right? <laughs> You're wrong about that. The reason I'm over here at my little brother's house right now with them is to talk about how you've had a baby with someone else. Uh-huh. 
Ever since we got married, I've been suspicious about whether you've been cheating on me or not. But then you became pregnant and said it was going to be my kid, so I believed you and started to relax a little. That's right, this is your kid. I gave birth to your baby, Gage. Why are you starting to doubt me all of a sudden now? I'm sorry. Ever since you gave birth to that girl, I became so worried about whether or not you were telling the truth. So I had a DNA test done on her. A DNA test? You did that? Yes. So, you understand now what I want to say, right? Could you stop lying to me, please? I would like for us to get a divorce. Gage, please. I do not want a divorce. I know I made a mistake by cheating on you, but I always thought that this was yours and my kid. The reason I gave birth to her was because I thought I'd be raising her with you. Please do not throw us away right now just because she was not related to you by blood. Celia, would you stop saying that I'm throwing you both away? You were the one that threw me away right before this, right? Had that baby turned out to be mine, I was planning to forgive you for cheating on me. But she happens to be your other man's baby. I do not have to take responsibility for you and her anymore. But while I was pregnant, you had been so kind to me. I had been looking forward to having this baby. I was being kind to you because I thought this was going to be our baby. That's why no matter how selfish you were being the whole entire time, I was going to do my best to take great care of you. But that baby ended up looking nothing like me. And then I wondered why that baby has none of my features and that started to make me panic. But babies' faces will change over time, right? What were you thinking getting a DNA test over something as petty as that? That wasn't the only thing, though. I already said that even before you became pregnant, I was worried that you might have been cheating on me. At the time, I felt that being suspicious of you for something like that wasn't a good thing. But now, I have to say that I'm really happy for going with my gut feeling here. I was able to find all of this out before becoming attached to your baby, and that's good for me. That is not good at all. I would have never had this baby if I'd known you wouldn't stick around to take care of us. Celia, saying something like that is not okay. I'd think things over one more time before you say anything else like that to me. But what you've done to me is a scam, right? I had this baby thinking you would be there to support the both of us. Saying that you don't want us anymore just because this baby isn't yours is awful. I want to know who the truly awful person is here. You were the one saying that the kid was mine this whole time, right? And so I trusted your word. Yet, what you've done here is ridiculous. I'm sorry. But I really did think that this girl was going to be yours. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. I can't do this with you anymore. And honestly, sooner or later you and I were going to get a divorce regardless of the baby. You're not going to be able to change how I feel about you now. You go talk with that girl's real father about all this. Hold on a second. We are not done talking yet. Gage? Celia? Um, this is Bailey. Right now, Gage isn't doing so well mentally. Please stop talking to him from now on. We're gonna block you on this phone now. Everything that comes after this can be spoken about with his lawyer when they contact you. Bailey, wait a minute. Hey, talk with my husband at all of this, please. I really do not want a divorce. I don't think Gage is going to change his mind for you anymore. You have to understand how I'm feeling right now, right? I'm being told to take care of this baby I just had on my own now. And I did only just have this baby, right? I would never ask my husband to raise a child that I had with another man while being married to him. I would never cheat on my husband in the first place. Stop acting like you and I are the same right now just because we both became mothers. I have no idea how you feel right now because I'm not a horrible human being. Why does any of that matter to you? Even if this kid is from another man, I still gave birth to her, right? This is not about you being the mother of that baby or not. We all know you gave birth to her. This is about the ethics you seem to have right now, and the fact that they are so bad that none of us will agree with you on them. There is something very wrong with you, Celia, for saying things like that. I don't want a divorce. 
I'm not that big of a fan of his face, but everything else about him is great for me. I don't even want to think about getting a divorce right now. You were the one that decided to start all of this, correct? Bailey, please. Tell my husband not to block me. And before we get any lawyers involved, he should come and talk to me one more time. I would like for us to spend a little more time together with our daughter. I feel like if he got to see how cute she is, then he'd calm down and rethink all he's asking for. Would you cut it out already with all you're saying? Nobody cares what you have to say or what you want and don't want. You already made enemies of us by calling our daughter ugly? Then you had to find out that you had a baby with another man? How much more are you going to hurt everyone around you before you're happy with yourself? The reason all of this is happening to you now is because of what you've done. It's what you deserve to have happen to you. Please, just help my family stay together as one. I will apologize to you for calling your daughter ugly. So please, have my husband come and talk with me one more time. I want to see him. I will not let you get near my brother-in-law. And my husband and I already know that our daughter is the cutest little girl in the world, so we don't need your empty apologies. Also, I happen to think of you as ugly Celia. And that so-called heart that you have is the ugliest thing I've ever seen yet. After all of that, my brother-in-law Gage ended up finding himself a really reliable lawyer, and with the help of them, he was able to talk with Celia and get that divorce. For a while there, knowing that her life would be at the end after the divorce, tried her very best to avoid getting the divorce, but both of her parents knew better and yelled at her to get the divorce, or else they would never let her around them ever again. And just like that, she cried while signing all the papers for Gage and his lawyer. Following all of that, Celia could not put herself back together due to the shock of everything that had happened to her. And having been kicked out of her parents' house and no longer being able to raise her daughter, vanished from her lives for good. Right now, her parents are currently taking care of her daughter for her while she's run off. Thinking about what all has happened, I feel really bad for her daughter. But knowing the kind of monster Celia was, this outcome was far better for the baby than anyone else. In the divorce, Celia was forced to pay a settlement to Gage, and because of that was left with no money in her savings account. I really have no clue how she's living now after being kicked out of her parents' house like that. But I really hope that whatever life she's living now is full of her thinking about all the wrongs she had done to her husband and family. When it comes to my husband and my daughter, she's been doing very well, and each and every day shows us just how quickly little babies can learn. We will always have friends and family of mine come over to the house to see her, and every time they tell us just how cute she is, and that's so upsetting that someone would ever say that she's ugly. I totally agree, and was never for a second going to believe any of the things that Celia was trying to call facts about her. Celia said a lot of terrible things about her, but to my husband and I, she really is the cutest little girl we've ever seen. To be honest, I like to think that Celia's eyes were both just completely useless and rotten to the core. Perhaps someday, if she's able to get enough money to afford herself a visit to the doctor's office, she can go and have those eyes checked out and see if there are any glasses that can fix them. Or maybe it's just better that she fixes the root of all these problems, her heart, and learns to be someone far more ethical than whatever monster she was trying to be. In Gage's case, after having a divorce like that one, he's now been in shock for quite a bit, but has slowly been getting back to things in his life like going into work for the full day and things like that. There are even times now where he'll come over to our house and play around with our daughter to make sure she gets all her energy out as she continues to grow. I know deep down Gage has probably gone through a lot of pain, and his heart must be very exhausted from all that's happened. But I'm hoping that over time he learns that my family will always be there for him, and that he's welcome to be around us anytime. In life, there are always going to be a lot of emotionally difficult moments like divorce, and it's very important to always keep those that are your close friends and family around for support. I think that over time he really will begin to realize just how kind my family is, and that there's no reason for him to have to battle all of those struggles he has on his own. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.